your host, and this is the only web-based talk show that I uh, know of. We're coming high, high off the heels of E3, and Sony set the Xbox One on fire in their press conference, while the Nintendo Wii U is still waiting for a thank you. Following this seventh season of Doctor Who, John Hurt is playing a missing regeneration of the Doctor, and you can hear the aneurysms of Whovians everywhere. Matt Smith is lucky. He's leaving at the end of the, se of the year, so all he has to deal with is the cheers of tenant fanboys and the cries of his own fangirls. Amazon has started a platform for writing fanfiction and getting a profit off of it. One can only hope that they never get the rights to the Twilight franchise. Ugh. DC has decided to cancel the new 52 run of the Blue Beetle. This is actually a brilliant marketing strategy. Cut all the good books so that the bad books look better. We have a great show for you tonight. We have Stealing Hearts here and the Cosplay Emporium Shoe Gear. So we'll take a break and we'll have all that and more after this. Hello and welcome back to Anime After Hours. This last week, we went to Ace this last week. Did you have fun at Ace? Oh, loads of fun. Loads of fun? Ah, tubs of it. Tubs, tub. Are you making a fat joke? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I think I think I had more fun than, at this convention than like other I've been others I've been to. I went to you know, more panels. It, it's kind of weird going to panels that are like from past things. Like I went to Veronica Taylor, the voice actress for Ash from Pokemon and the original two Power Rangers. But I didn't have as much fun because there wasn't anything like new about it. All, all of the things that they were talking about were things that I could look up on the internet. I went to Billy West, right from Futurama. He was fun because he had a, like, a prepared speech from all of his roles, his major roles. So, it went from Ren and Stimpy, to Doug, to Futurama, uh, all flawlessly, all flowing. That was fun. Nice. And also, the My Little Pony comic panel. Which, which I hear you got an autograph from. Yes. I, I was debating it, but I got an autograph because when are you going to get an autograph of anything? Ah, what did she sign? The the trade paperback of the comic book, the My Little Pony comic book. So you got your My, My Little, Little Pony comic book. Signed by the My Little Pony author of the comic book. Yes. He, yeah. She even drew a little picture of Derpy. I wish I had it here so I could show you. Maybe I'll scan it in later, but... Anyway. You had fun. You were out on the dealer's room taking pictures with loads everybody. of people. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody wants a picture with Lobo. <laughs> you were Lobo, and you have one picture that you're particularly proud of. Oh, yes. Me strangling Superman. Let's get that out there. <laughs> Let's get out that out there. Don't get me wrong. This is an awesome picture. Ironically, that it was another Lobo taking the picture. The only Lobo who ever shows up to a Comic-Con in New Mexico. One time that one Lobo shows up, of course, there has to be a second one. Ironically, that, that kind of thing can happen in the comics. The Lobo taking a picture of another Lobo. Yeah. But you, you tap this thing around like it's the, your kid playing baseball or something. I'm grown. It's yeah. a beautiful picture. Yeah, it is. It is. That other logo was quite the cinematographer. Photographer. Talk to cut that out of your fur. Stop it, Rico. You don't know words. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I'm the dumb one. 
That's why I'm the host. Get off my couch! <laughs> we, we went to the convention in style, though, didn't we? Oh, we went to the very sexy piece. Really? What? You don't think it's sexy? I, I have a hard time thinking of a vehicle as sexy. Unless it's the TARDIS. <laughs> we made the animal wheel, and we thought we'd show you the making of it. Yes, we love it. We'll give so, you a link after the show. <laughs> yeah. 
we would all, we would always just kind of jam together on different ideas and stuff. So I said, why don't we kind of get together and make it official, like an official band type thing? Mm -hmm. So we got together and we wrote some songs and recorded them. And that's basically how we started out. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so you recorded some of your songs? Yeah, we recorded a few of our songs. Yeah, we did put them on a, a little demo yeah. disc. At first, we started with um, three songs, which uh, Corey, Izzy, and Jacob had made on their own at the time. I was living um, an hour away, so I was in the process of moving back, so it made it kind of really complicated mm -hmm. for me to help with such things, but it yeah. worked out in the end. Yeah. So yeah, we wrote them and we got them done. Yeah, three of them, we specifically chose three of them to put for the demo. And there was um, three sort of different types. Like the first song we put on there, it was acoustic, but it was, it was kind of slower, but it had a good little beat to it. And then like the other song we put was acoustic as well, but it was more like upbeat, like happier. And then the last song we put was more rocked out, like full band. Our signature like, screamer, not too much. Oh, he yeah. Always screams. Because he does some good, some good vocals Stop there. Some screaming yeah. talent. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, so you guys like hang out together, or you know, in normal ways. Oh right? yeah, definitely. Yeah, we just do a lot of things. Bros just hang out all the time. Like I talk about. Oh yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's this good. is go. This is going on film, guys. Yes, this is a really good story. We we um, um we have talked about. Yeah, we have talked. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna tell the story just because. Yeah, so we'll, 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 tells it we'll all kind of just like we'll give our out. own piece of it. But basically, um, we go into Taco Bell, and I start to order, and I'm ordering and getting everything situated. And um, so as the guy's giving me my food, he secretly tells me, as bad as it sounds, that he farted <laughs> as he's giving me his food. What? And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, you don't see that when you're giving someone their food. Why don't you know? tell someone that? So I was scarred. Especially Taco Bell. Especially yeah, Taco Bell, yeah. yeah. So I was scarred a little bit. And, um, Izzy was right behind me wearing this like shirt. Yeah, I have um, it's you know the original Nintendo yeah, controller. Yeah, yeah. I, it has that on it, and then it says "addict" under it in red, right. like this exact color red, just so faded. Yeah. And I'm walking up, and I'm all pumped because you know I just tried. Was it that number seven? I think it's the cheesy hey, you care, you care, you to order. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm all pumped to get my food. Right. I'm about to order. I'm about to pay. I'm, I'm stoked because I've been starving all day. So. I walk up and he's like, oh, I remember those. Those things were awesome. I bet you're going to remember them, huh? I was like, no, my dad bought one and I played it all the time. You know, I played Duck Hunt and, you know, Galaga and, you know, Tetris and all that. Good so stuff. what is he's trying to say is basically the guy was hitting on him. It was mad hitting on him. Yeah, it like, got there. No, it oh, was hitting on him. Like, all right, so right here's what happened, right? So <laughs> I'm like trying to steer away to placing my order, you know, get my chow because I'm starving. And he keeps on talking about how I should hit him up yes. to sell him my games for it. Wow. Like, over. I'm like, so yeah, hang on number six. So yeah, dude, you gotta hit me up for sure. You know what I mean? Be like, if you're gonna sell this, you gotta hit me up, dude. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I, I, I want to number six. But dude, you gotta like, hit me up. I mean, like, so I'm like, who's basically down for the Izzy? 20 minutes later, these guys are having a <laughs> mad conversation. I'm starving. I'm the last in line behind so, the I'm just trying to get away from them. So both Izzy and you, Mario already got his food. Oh, he got his food. Izzy just wanted his cheesy burrito. Oh, I wanted my Gordita Crunch back. Dude hadn't even ordered yet. I was still waiting in line. I couldn't get nothing to eat. <laughs> so anyway, I go away. Then Corey places his order. He doesn't even talk to Corey. And I was like, oh, great. He just ignored the heck out of me. He tells him, you're lucky. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I wasn't that lucky. No, not you. <laughs> So Corey got out of the... You, you know, got always stop I got like, done. Good. Like, yeah. nothing. No weirdness, no farting, no getting hit on my creepy behind the counter. Yeah. Wow. It worked out. So, for me. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being on the show. Oh, thanks for having you. Guys. We'll, see, we'll see these guys perform yeah. later on, but... <laughs> but for now, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. 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 Feeling hearts, everybody! Thank you. Thank so, you. For our second guest, we have the wonderful cosplay stylings of Shoshana Gilbert. Shoot.
Really? This is our first episode, man. Really? If this happens again, I'm firing everyone. I hope you know that. Um, so our second guest canceled on us. Here's a series of clips regarding me being rejected at Comic-Con. If you were a Pokemon, I'd choose you. You know what they say about Comic-Con, you better go big or go home. Excuse me? Is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. You know what they say about Comic-Con. Go big or go home. You know, I don't talk to Zelda cosplayers that much. Not since the incident. What incident? Oh, it's really nothing. It just links to my dark and tortured past. Really? What happened? I don't really bog you down with all my troubles. Oh, but I'd love to. Way to go, Pudgeon. Um, I'm just gonna... Wait, what about my dark and tortured... Oh, come on! Ladies and gentlemen, stealing hearts! One, two, one, two, three, four.
will hopefully have more than this. Great job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. But until Bye, next week, I'm I've been Rico Fernandez. You've been you. We've been selling arcs. And remember to always watch your anime after hours. See you then. Hey guys, bye.